I love Kailua. That's fine. We all love Kailua. I've been acquainted with uh, Kailua uh, long before we got married and moved in Audi. And uh, at that time, Kailua was just a little, a lot of coconut trees and all that. The whole area was covered with coconut trees and the homes were built. You could hardly find the homes. They were all covered by coconut trees. And uh, we used to have a horse racing right down in Kailua. At that time, the old road was a, a narrow winding road from Honolulu to Kailua. And it had to wind down on the side of the cliff. And then we got to a hairpin turn. It was a sharp turn, you turn around, you come down, and then it branched off one road, went over to Kanaoi. And the other road headed uh, towards Kailua side. Um, that was the first time, the first impression I had of Kailua. They had a nice beach. People were living over in Lanikai. Lanikai was a, a special area that the people who had the means that were there could afford something like that. Right after the war, and, uh, I was caught in my uh, my wife to be, and she said she would accept me. And then when we got married, we moved right into our home, our own home. It was just a two-bedroom home, you know, that elaborate home. And, and at that time, the homes were. Not too bad. Ten thousand dollars for house and lot. <laughs> oh. I look for jobs, but there wasn't anything really available for me. So I started my own business out here, and that was started in 1953. Now, during my business, I came in contact with the uh, famous Arthur Rice. Arthur Rice was. Um, had planted, had uh, bought that area, a grove, you said, Cairo is an island. You might not realize that, but it is an island surrounded by water. And uh, I thought I was planted a coconut trees, had it all down there. And when they got up to bearing fruit, the market of coconut uh, oil or whatever it is, fell through. So he decided to sell his property, and that's why he sold it with, I think I got word about 15 cents a uh, uh, square foot, and I thought that was quite uh, nice that I got yeah. that. <laughs> and, and my business developed more and more, and then the people started to come to Kailua. Then the development started to take hold. And uh, over on the Enchanted Lakes, uh, Joe Powell was the contractor. He had uh, divisions out there. And they, they ended up building homes on the lake. It, it was a lake out there. It was just a small, small uh, business place. They developed a place for home. As one more people started to come in now, they had a lot of homes there. In Kailua, the real estate people really got into it and started to get people purchasing the property here. And that's how we started to develop more and more. Now, downtown, uh, Kailua town, uh, that was just a small, small uh, business places. 
and they had another bank, Bishop Bank. Those days, uh, first Hawaiian Bank was, was called Bishop Bank. That was the oldest bank in Hawaii. And um, Kailua had an ice house. Those days, they, they didn't have too much refrigeration. The area before that, where Target is built now, mm -hmm. used to be a campus dairy house that were raised there for the milk. That area was all full of cows. And uh, the owner of the property, we still sell uh, castle. Castle decided to purchase that property, not purchase, but to uh, buy it out. So campus dairy pulled out of there, moved into uh, Every in Wyman now, and there, then they started to develop that area, all that. And here it is now, look what it is out there. It's, but one thing I can say about it is that uh, the castle estate didn't sell any of the property out. And, they only lease it out, and they had control of developing that. And that's how Kailua Town is a pretty well developed uh, area. There's not a mishmash of buildings and like you find in many other places. How do you actually feel about where we are today with Kailua? And it's a nice town. Kailua is a nice town. Many of the people complaining are people that grew up here that say they can no longer live, afford to live here, they can't come back They all died already. Wow. So, uh, I'm can, one of those people. How can I complain? I am one dead. of those people. <laughs> I'm just one of the last ones. I think even like on. people that are right now. Yeah, but I mind my own business. I'm the type of person my own business. I don't get involved into all those kind of things, get upset. And, at my age, we don't want to get upset at all. <laughs> I just want to be peaceful and <laughs> live secret, but happily right? ever after. Is that the secret to longevity and uh, living a long life? Uh, uh, yeah, uh, well, that's one of the things you develop uh, as you go on in life. Pay all your bills, get everything all clear, and then you want to live happily ever after. And if I'm going to mind other people's business, I'm not going to be happy if I have that. I'm going to still be angry and, and anger is no good at all. That, that's the upsetting thing that destroy people. That's my philosophy in life, you know. So you be by a group of unhappy people out there watching Cairo develop into <laughs> what is this? So, what would be your advice to Kailuans moving forward? Stop God, for your own health. Stop <laughs> complaining. You get upset. And when you complain, you get upset. You get all of the organs all get shook up and everything. That's not a nice way to live. You pass this word on to those other people that are uh, getting all shook up on the whole deal. Tell them, mind their own business. <laughs> when you mind your own business, you don't have any problem. And I love and you. <laughs> you want my opinion? I got my opinion here, and uh, that's my advice. You just want to have to accept the things that you cannot change. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I can change. And the courage to change the things say can and the wisdom to know the difference. If they're, if they're upset, tell them to join out of alcohol. <laughs> what do I see? I see you sitting in the shade under the mango tree. I smile at you, you smile back at me. We know that a smile's a key.